Testing, testing. Okay. Speaking a little softer because Dana is still sleeping at this time. After all, it is 3.34 a.m. Central Time. Um, <laughs> but we interrupt our hosting of Pokeb Sims Pokemon Sleep Lock for an announcement. Um, this kind of took me by surprise because never has there been a time that a region has only gone three weeks between Splatfests. But a Japanese Splatfest was just announced. I, I end up going to sleep early. I went to sleep, you know, last, you know, this past evening around 8 p.m. And I woke up five hours later and found out about this announcement. <laughs> but there's, yes, there's already going to be a new Japanese Splatfest next week. <laughs> let's dig into it. No, I can't read Japanese, but let's dig into it. All right. <laughs> So, Pearl and Marina are about to announce this Splatfest. As you know, as usual, the Splatfest descends down from the heavens via fax machine. So, what is the Splatfest? Okay. Time to, um explain this Splatfest here. Now, those of you who, now, people who have read Japanese tell me that, taken literally, this is asking champion versus challenger. <laughs> you need more explanation, because this Splatfest refers to the Splatoon manga, which is done by Koro Koro Magazine back in Japan. And that, Viz, and that Viz Media has start has started to translate um, just this earlier this past summer. Now, the manga is in season two. Viz has only translated season one so far, so you might not know what's going on. Those of you who uh, who've been following the manga on Viz probably recognize the squid on the right. That's goggles. And he leads the team that's pretty much only known as Team Blue. This team doesn't really have an official name other than that, Team Blue. And uh, now, in Season 2, Season 2 has a main group of antagonists called the Kings. And they are led by the guy on the left, who calls himself Emperor. Now, if you've played Japanese squids in game, you may you may have seen Emperor's gear being worn by certain squids. Now, that gear is not available in any other version. It's only available in the Japanese version, and only by uh, inputting a code from the November 2017 issue of Koro Koro Magazine. Now, tension has been building up between these two teams for quite some time. Now, if you're not familiar with the Splatoon manga, um, Here's the basic personalities of Goggles and Emperor. Goggles on the right there. He's, he's kind of a happy-go-lucky squid. Um, he, he's, he's positive. He's perky. He's, he's also very absent-minded and for some reason tends to end up naked a lot. No, I'm not joking. He tends to end up naked a lot. Why, I don't know. It's played for laughs. But anyway, uh, you know, you know he, he gets into he gets into these matches, you know, he he does play to win, but he doesn't let losing get him down. It, it's all fun to him either way. He just loves turf war. You know? He loves turf war and whereas about half his team tends to take it a little more seriously than he does. Um, the only one that takes it less seriously than he does would be um, would be uh, Bobble. Who who's just and Bobble is just is, is just Bobble's just a bundle of perk, probably even more so than Goggles. But 
<clears throat> but he, but he's kind, of, he's kind of the leader of his team, more or less, and he's the main protagonist of the series. <laughs> basically, he, basically, he's a good-hearted kid. He, 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 even if he's a little, even if he does get a little um, crass at times. For example, he's been known to occasionally pants enemies. <laughs> but, but yeah, he's he's overall a good guy. Emperor is a dick. He is your classic action comedy anime antagonist. He always has something up his sleeve. He um, he's tr always trying to. Uh, He's, he's, he, he, he always tries to manipulate people as pawns in his greater scheme. You know the type. If, you, if you're into anime, you know the type. He, he's cocksure. He thinks he, know, he thinks he knows everything. He, quote-unquote, knows he's better than everyone else. Yeah, he's one of those guys. He, he, I, I guess you could say he's the turf war version of Donald Trump. You know, he he always has the bet he always has the best gear and the latest gear. I mean, when the character was introduced um, a year ago, uh, he was the first squid to have dualies, <laughs> for example. So, so, so yeah, he's a dick. Unfortunately, he's also very popular, which is why his gear was made available in the game. All right, so <laughs> so basically, what they're asking, so basically, they're not so much. It's not just simply champion versus challenger. Do you like champions? Do you like challengers? What's really asking is, which team do you prefer? Do you prefer do you prefer um, the kings or Team Blue? Basically, are you for emperor or goggles? And as you can see, um, Pearl is siding with Emperor, and Marina is siding with Goggles. And you know what? I can see Pearl going for the bad boy type. That that's just the that's just the type of squid she is. And and, and Marina, Ma, Marina's just too nice to pick someone like Emperor. You know, which is probably why they had it. Which is probably why they phrased it this way because you know it, it fits the characters of it fits what. Pearl and Marina's choices would be, and and um, now the thing now the thing is I I can't I can't read Japanese. However, the first bit of what Pearl is saying, and I'm just tell and, and I'm just assuming this from the pattern, says Koro Koro Cup, which is the name of the championship in that's being fought for. These two teams have gone out have fought their way to the finals, and all this tension over the last 10 issues is finally coming to a head at the Koro Koro Cup. And like I said, I'm just, go I'm, I'm just going by that because, you know, you know look, look at the characters. The characters repeat like that, and nowhere else do they repeat in that announcement. So I think what the first things Pearl is saying there is Koro Koro Cup. If I'm wrong, if I'm, if I'm wrong, correct me. You know, th this, this video will be available as a VOD. Um, I may even pop it up on I may even pop it up on YouTube. <laughs> so so yeah, so so there we go. Um, fortunately I will have to fast forward through the banter because I have absolutely no idea what they are saying. Again, if you know what they're saying, let me know. Marina apparently likes goggles and Pearl apparently likes the bad boy quality of Emperor. <laughs> And and that and that's just and that just fits their personalities that they would that they would choose the two count the two sides in this way. <laughs> Marina seems confident in her choice, and Pearl seems agitated. Again, I don't know exact I don't know what they're saying. Unfortunately, <sighs> times like this, I wish I could read Japanese. <laughs> it's a lot of banter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay. <laughs> All right, and, th and this is when they tell you to pick your side. Okay, let's just fast forward through. Oh, wait a minute, new weapon. That's right, the new weapon, the uh, the Rapid Blaster Deco. <laughs> That's the Rapid Blaster Deco, by the way. New weapon just, just announced hours ago. All right, let's fast forward through the stage announcements. Yes, Schellendorf and Moray. Uh, Starfish. And Humpback. Come on. Uh, Port Mackerel. Manta Maria. All right. And yes, Salmon Run is open. I know, I just want to pick my side. I just want to pick my side. All right. We're not going to actually be uh, doing any gameplay this time. I'm just going to go and pick my side. <laughs> All right. Let me get my uh, Splatfest tea on. Hey, hey, Splatfest heat on. Splatfest heat on. And the Splatfest heat says Challenger. <laughs> the question is, what do the others say? Because I've heard, I've heard people call the other side um, champions or kings. What does the other side say? It says champion. Oh, okay. All right, now to take my picture in front of the uh, in front of the board, like I always do. Come on, I want to get my position my screen just right. Come on, I'm trying to position my squid. Come on. This, this picture is always so hard to get. Oh! Oh, damn it. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, and what does Judd have for me? Apparently, Judd's got something for me, too. Hey, a sea snail. Oh, okay. All right, so so that's it. That's 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 all I wanted to just pop on and say. Just wanted to tell you about the. Um, just simply wanted to tell you about the new Splatfest in Japan, and what it and what it really means, and how it's a lot more complicated than just Champion versus Challenger. So for all you Squid Kids out there, join me for day three of Squidarine Miss um, later on on Saturday evening. I don't know when but i will let you know eventually until then um this is dj particle saying um saying i'm, go I'm gonna say like and subscribe because this video will probably be on youtube as well join the particle acceleration and and um, by the way day three of squid arena miss change of plans i'm leveling up my splat fest i'm going to be doing it all throughout the rest of squid arena miss so <laughs> this is dj particle signing off and we now return you to Pokeb Sim and his sleep lock. Boom. <laughs>